My family's been farming, uh, doing dairy farming since 1985. Uh, we initially started milking, uh, I believe it was 80 cows, and we've expanded over the years. Uh, we are currently now milking 2,000 cows three times a day, which basically is around the clock. Um, we're farming approximately 3,200 acres, raising corn, wheat, soybeans, and rye, uh, mostly for feed for our cow. So a large part of, of working with livestock is manure management. The manure uh, is, is very beneficial to growing our crops, raising our feed. So we, back in 2006, we wanted to do something a little bit more, a little bit more sustainable, uh, not only to make it easier on ourselves in order to manage that manure efficiently, but also to be environmentally friendly the best we can, to do things that, you know, would help uh, keep our ground safe for the future generations. So in 2006, we, we started looking at an uh, anaerobic digester. Um, part of it was to help us um, reduce the amount, overall amount of volume that we had to spread on the fields, and then um, also to reduce some of the costs. So what we're doing with the anaerobic digester is we're, we're putting the manure in the holding tanks and the manure is in there for about 20 days and then we're capturing the methane gas off from that manure to power generators and then those generators are, are creating electricity to power our entire facility and also we're putting uh, electric on the grid as well selling it back to the power company. One of the other benefits of the, of the anaerobic digester is that we're able to produce our milk with a negative carbon footprint. Um, and then we're also able to sell those carbon credits on the free market to companies or industries who are not able to meet the clean air standards that they're required to meet. We currently are not meat verified. We're looking into that possibility. Um, we are doing a lot of things that, um, to my understanding, would, would qualify under the meat uh, program. And, and, and yeah, we really do look at everything uh, to be very sustainable and to be very, you know, earth friendly. We, we, we're trying to do the best we can. We want to treat our ground and our, our land and our animals the best that we can so that, you know, future generations, you know, our kids have the opportunity, the same opportunities we do.